So we're going to try a problem that involves damped harmonic motion. Okay, It's when there's a resistive force that's going against the motion, essentially acting uh, kind of like uh, friction or air resistance that makes the amplitude and motion small until uh, it will eventually stop. Okay, Now I'm going to do this problem as an all-encompassing one. Um, where I'm actually going to do not one and not two, but three different problems, which uh, just like uh, when I did on simple harmonic motion properties, it kind of builds on each other. So each one, uh, you need each one to solve for the next. And it does give uh, an explanation of the properties of damped harmonic motion. Okay? First, we have to. I, already wrote down the given. Notice there's an error in the units. The damping constant should be in the units of kilograms per second. So it's kind of measurement of inertia per second. Although it's not a mass uh, uh, it's not a mass rate. Um, it's a constant. Okay, and so we have also the elastic constant. That's actually a hundred newton per meter. Um, the damping constant 0 0.008 or 8 times 10 to the negative 3, 8.0. I'm writing everything down in their um, spelled out form versus the scientific notation. Okay, and the mass is given to be uh, quite small, 0 0.05 kilogram. That's barely, that's 50 grams. And once again, we have our initial conditions. that at t equals zero, the displacement, the maximum displacement, so that actually makes this xm, uh, is 1.5 meters. That's pretty, that's pretty strong. Okay, uh, you can also say that this makes the initial velocity zero as well, uh, but we'll need this to solve for the phase constant. So it's kind of like a intermediary. Thing we have to solve for. Um, okay, so first thing we're going to solve for is the angular frequency, a and then we're going to solve for the amplitude and the position of the particle at five seconds. Now, the amplitude and the particle's position are not the same thing as you're going to see, but we're both going to use the same equation. First thing we have to do is actually solve for the uh, omega prime. Now, take note. These are primes, but that does not mean it's a derivative. Okay, it just means it's modified. I should probably put the word there. It's enhanced or changed or modified, or in this case, it's being damped. Okay, let's go ahead and solve for. Let's plug in. The given for the enhanced, write down the formula again. And hopefully, just a really quick note you'll see if there is no damping constant, then this goes to zero, and then it goes back to simple harmonic motion, the angular frequency for that. But that is not the case here. There is definitely some damping going on. Okay, so let's plug and play with that one. So 100 newton per meters, 0 0.050 kilograms. Um, this is And just like always, I'm going to work out the units as well. Whoops, forgot about that. Yep, it's definitely squared. Otherwise, that would not work out. Okay. Now, if we're looking for angular frequency, the units that we should end up with is radians per second. Okay, so let's take a look at the units here. This is Newton per meter kilogram. I've done this in another video as well. Uh, Newton turns into kilograms, meters per second squared, still have the meters, kilograms, 
that cancels out and you're left with 1 over second squared and that's good here this one's a bit more straightforward add kilogram squared second squared over kilogram squared so there you go and you get the same thing okay because we're gonna get square root of uh, actually just one second squared doesn't need to be that long I'll do one over second and once again you can convert that into radians per second okay if you plug all of this in, in your calculator I recommend that you do not round it off even though it approximately equals uh, 45 radians per second okay and that is actually our final answer you need to store this answer uh, in your calculator for the next problem it actually turns out to be 44.7 to 1 dot 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 radians per second okay so this is the value you want to save in your calculator but uh, all of it including the dot 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 okay so that is a okay or the first one okay next solving for the amplitude now for the amplitude I'm gonna go straight here because the amplitude normally would be this guy right which is already given to us but since we're talking about damped harmonic motion the amplitude is actually getting smaller and smaller so let me like a little snake okay and so it's trying to find let's say this was at t equals five seconds what is the amplitude at that particular that exact moment in time okay so what we want for the amplitude is actually boom there you go and that is it so it turns out to be quite simple this is x prime uh, you can name it a prime if you want um, but it's simply xm e times a negative exponential okay you can also name it a for amplitude as well that's the maximum amplitude which is getting smaller at times not getting any bigger okay so plugging in the values directly in our damping constant and if you take a look at the units you'll notice oh wait I'm missing a zero there that second cancels out boom no my units uh, no high units no more units okay and uh, if you solve for that you will get an answer oh, I'll just write it down here at that moment in time it's approximately equal I'll write that a little bit better it's a little bit more than one meter so Take note that it's gone down, okay? It's less than the maximum. It wouldn't make sense if it got bigger. That means there had to be a driving force or there's resonance going on. But that is not the case here. It's damped. Okay, and now we want to find its exactly uh, its position at five seconds. Okay, so I can just take uh, that amplitude that we got and actually by the way uh, I would recommend storing that in your calculator too and cosine of mega prime which is once again 44.21 dot 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 radians per second times five seconds now you can take a look at the previous problems with simple harmonic motion if it starts at the maximum at t equals zero your phase constant is going to be zero rats right off the bat 
Okay, please see other videos on how to do that. So the seconds cancel out because we just want radians, radians to radians. And uh, one important thing here is whenever you do this, make sure your calculator is in what? Radians mode, okay? Uh, had a lot of trouble, even myself and not just my class, on making sure it's in radians mode because if you use you degrees, you get a completely different answer. As a matter of fact, the answer that you will get is negative. That means it's at the bottom of the equilibrium position. And drum roll. Boom. Now I tried this several times in my calculator um, without rounding out. Okay, if you plug in 45, um, the answer here, you will not get this number down here. You have to have the exact numbers for both of these. So remember how to or know how to use the storing uh, function of your calculator, the memory function of your calculator. Okay? Because the more significant figures you have down here, um, the closer to this you'll get. If you keep on rounding out, uh, you'll get further away from the answer. But that is definitely the final answer for the position of damp harmonic motion with these conditions at five seconds. Okay? So go ahead, take a look uh, at this example for damp harmonic motion. Hope you have a better understanding of this this time. Feel free to rewind, pause, play, and to solve it yourself. Okay? Enjoy!